Welcome back, travelers, to Legendary Lore, where now we're going to finally talk about Soren, Tamio, Jace, um, Avacyn, some anguish, some unmaking. You know the deal, right, Joe? It's the Planeswalker episode. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. So basically, I if you go back to our Jace series that we did, there's a few bits where we kind of fill in the gaps of what was, was happening over the course of the story where Jace was trying to figure out what was happening. Ha, was you guys getting... gotta watch the boss watch. <laughs> where Jace is kind of unraveling this mystery over time. And it gets to the point where he and Tamio get to a the cathedral and they find that they they've they've worked their way all the way to Thraven and they have gone to the roost of Avacyn. And so now all th uh, the three of them, Avacyn, Tamio, and Jace, are locked in combat. And Avacyn is super overpowered because you have to remember, she was a creature created prior to the bending. She was given power by an old walker. So Avacyn's power is like, she's starting to see things in people. What she describes as squirming jelly as revolting lies dressed in as humans like misshapen people basically and she and she's kind of like super paranoid super insane and she's just slaughtering everyone in, right but here we have jason tamion they're here at her roost and she's i am the bulwark against fiends from without i destroy wickedness no matter its origin no matter its form i have seen you crawl across my provinces slither into my church but now i see you and now you answer to me She's going to slaughter Jason Tamio. And then the skylight above her explodes and a man crashes through it feet first. And then she just throws magic at him. And like, holy magic. Magic that is supposed to like basically obliterate a vampire, right? It hits him straight in the chest and it dissipates. Because <laughs> he created her. He's automatically immune to her. Do not cite the ancient magics to me, which <laughs> yep. I was there when they were written. Exactly. And so, basically, like, all this is happening, and the other two, the, the Jason Tamio, they're like, you can help her, right? And, like, Soren looks at them. And remember, this is Soren. Well... He looks at them and he says, look, if you got a problem with these two, kill them, then we'll do what we gotta do. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> That's that's not quite the what we were hoping for when we said you could help. <laughs> and when you they look up, like looking up at the rest of the roost, it's the the always watching kind of deal, where it's just a bunch of ragged, stained angels looking down from the roost. And it's this is like she points her spear at the vampire, who at this point obviously is Soren. And he says, Avacyn, you cannot harm me. And this, and there is a reason. When she hears that, it's like a vibration in the air. She, he says, I am your creator. And when he says that, there's like this click inside of her. And she recognizes that he is soaring. He kind of shimmers and she sees him as he truly is. Because up until this point, she's seen basically a monster with white hair and this leech's mouth. Because that's what she sees a vampire as. And so... This is a very, very good story. And if you guys haven't read it, I would highly suggest that you do. It's called I Am Avacyn, and it kind of wraps up the Shadows of Innistrad story. Because I'm go we're going to get into the how this ends very soon. I'm going to skip over a bit of this. Because he puts his hand out to her and she hesitates. And she looks at the two people that she was going to kill. But then she sees that they are a woman and a man. They're not demons. And then she sees that their blood has been like spilled onto the on, on the floor of the cathedral. And then she can smell the blood on her spear. And she thought they were monsters. And so she's like, I'm so, an angel on the of goodness. Is goodness what I've, what I've been doing? And she can see his, like his pulse in the pale skin of his neck. And she says, I am Avacyn and I'm to protect. She goes, but... And she, she begins to see the images. I... Villages burning, have innocents slain, not a mother crying over her child protected. 
She realizes she is the one who set those fires. She slayed those innocents. She was a defender, a protector, and she brought untold destruction. And if you think about her card, her white red, white red one, the last one she had, she comes into play and she gives all the creatures that you control indestructible. So she's protector. But the moment something dies, she snaps and she turns red and hits everything for three. And so, other than being a beautifully powerful card, it's also a beautiful card as far as the way it functions and the way it works and the way it kind of moves through this. She realizes that things are, are not good. And she says, Scion of Markov, you allowed this to happen. And he, Markov's like, hold on. <laughs> I just got here. She goes, I am your creation. You are responsible for everything I am capable of. I was made for a purpose, and your purpose was impure. So when I condemn you as the greatest evil of this world, and, Mar and, and Soren's like, no. <laughs> and he's just like, I made you to protect people, Jace. It's like, you did that for food. Jace, shut up. And, and yeah, basically. And like her, obviously at this point, Avison's mind has snapped again. She's clouded everything and she's seeing everything as evil. She looks back at Jason, Tamio, they're demons again. And she's ready to just throw down. And so he, he's like, you need to come down to the cellar so we can talk about how you were created. And she's like, you, you created me to ensure that all wickedness meets its demise. And you are wicked. And so they get into this fight, Avacyn and Soren. And Soren does not want to kill Avacyn. Because she's like a daughter to him. Yep. And there's this huge fight. And she and like as she's looking at him, his face like goes in and out of focus. She sees Soren one moment, she sees a monster the next, a leech, a demon, and she just keeps kind of like shifting. She is not all there. And she actually slashes through his throat, and she sees rotting ooze gush between his fingers, turning to a sickly fungus on the flagstones. Obviously it's not, but that's what she's seeing. She, she is completely gone. And they go all the way down to the vault of the Archangel. And once they're down here, she can hear the people above shouting warnings. And to her, they sound like unanswered prayers. And Soren explains to her, this is where you were made. And she's like, oh, where you made me what I am. He goes, I can, I, and he's like, I can cleanse your mind. I can make you a proper instrument of virtue again. I can make you a new, reforge you. And she's like, if I am not the daughter you want, and we must battle again and again forever. I will never yield. I am no monster's instrument. I am not going to let you infringe upon my freedoms. America. Yeah. <laughs> she says, I know what you'll do. So go on, create another vault of silver, imprison me, and then the prison will be destroyed again. Because I was old back when he was an old walker. He doesn't have that power anymore. Mm. And she's like, You're my creator. You have to know the way of this world. What can't be destroyed must be bound. There's no other way to get rid of me because you can't get, you can't stop me unless you have a prison of silver. What cannot be destroyed must be bound. And the sword takes out his sword. But Avison, you can be destroyed. And she says, I cannot see his face now but because he turns away from me. I cannot see whether he is monster or man. I can only see the point of that sword. And I can only hear ancient words. Words of a ritual performed in reverse. Words of a gift being revoked. I can only feel my knees dropping onto the unyielding limit of the cathedral floor. I can only smell the ash of some nearby smoldering. I can only touch the shadow on the floor and under me. The shape that marks my first moment. And she says, I can only say in this my final prayer to the world that I only ever meant to keep the innocent from harm. I am Avicen. I am to protect. And it's at this point that Jason's like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> and 
and it's just a smoldering pile of ash on the floor where Avacyn used to be. And Soren is there, he's trembling, and his, he's got his fist clenched around his sword. And he says, I had to. And Jace's response is this. <laughs> Let me just read what it says. Jace made incredulous gestures with his hands. <laughs> And then he turns to Tamio and he's like, did he have to? And she knows, Tamio knows, this is going to have consequences. Lots of consequences. And Jace is like, yeah, the, the people of the world have lost their protector. And Tamio's like, no, the plane lost its protector. And it's at this point that there, there's this profound boom that rolls across the sky. Like, remember how there's been a storm this entire time? Finally, a crack of lightning, basically. And the earth is just tremor, tremoring uncontrollably. There are shards of stained glass, but like just like rattling off the walls, out of their frames, things falling everywhere, statues crumbling, things melting. Jace uh, watches Soren shove his sword into his scabbard and turn away, and he pulls up his collar, and he uh, goes up the staircase. And, he, and like he's literally just like breaking into the marble banister with his claws. And it's at this point that Jace he basically just yells, What have you done? Now, Joe and I, we know what's happened. And a lot of you probably know what's happened. For the sake of this of this legendary lords, we've acted like we don't know what's happening or what's going to happen. But uh <laughs> Just let's say at the very end of this, we have, I'm just gonna give you a real quick little cut to Arlen Court, just like at the beginning of the first one, we had a little bit with Arlen Court. Uh, this is the end of Shadow of Shred as well. She uh, basically is doing her thing, having her flashbacks. She's being chased by the guy that she accidentally hurt in um, in the, the Gold Knight, Rembert was his name. And Rembrandt has been hunting her down this whole time. And Arlen Court is, is like cornered when an angel shows up. And the angel's got the blood and the angel's crazy and starts killing off normal people. So Arlen Court shifts into a werewolf and then kills the angel. Rips out the angel's throat and everything. And Rembrandt is on the ground and he's injured. And Arlen goes over to him and holds a paw out to him. And he's like, you lied to me. Because she had lied about being a werewolf. And she's like, I did he goes, you killed the others. And he goes, she goes, I did. And he goes, I can't. She goes, I'm no longer a slave to the curse. I'm free to be a protector as I was meant to be. You knew me once, you know me again. Take my hand. And he like he takes her arm and he says, Avison, help me. And she goes, Avison is gone. We have to find strength in each other. And so, like we said at the start of the few episodes ago, it seemed like Arlen wasn't the Arlen we know now. It was just character development. It took all of this happening, everyone else kind of having their shade, shade faking, their faith shaken. Shade faking. <laughs> their faith shaken for them they to actually. Hungry. They had their shade faking. Delicious shade. Care more. I love the taste of shade bacon. <laughs> so, basically, that's how Shadows of Rainer Shred ends, and Eldritch Moon begins. We're going to have another uh, legendary lore coming up after this one that is going to kind of give you a really cool microcosm look. You don't want to miss this next one. Joe, go ahead, take it away. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and catch you guys next time with the in-between between Shadows Over Innistrad and Eldritch Moon. This is like peak storytelling for wizards. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. So leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to catch it.